Hello, I'm Lasse Marug and I'm here at Subralar.no and I'm being interviewed about what the hell I'm doing. Yes, my next project, uh, this is always a hard question uh, for me when people ask me, well, what are you doing next? Because I'm not really doing just one thing and I'm not even doing two things uh, or even three things. It seems uh, that I almost constantly have like 10, 12, 15 things going on at the same time. I find that uh, easier to I find it easier to work that way when I can juggle many uh, projects and some of these projects are very short term um, some of them I've done in just a few hours or you know, a couple of days uh, and, and others take a very long time some some projects take takes years even um, to to from beginning to, to end so it's always hard when people ask, what are you doing next? Because it's not like, oh, I've done that project and it's gone and now I'm ready for the next thing and my plate is empty. Um, my plate is always filled with something. When, when, when I'm done with one thing, that goes out and I just fill that with another thing. So it's, it's a constant thing. Um, so it's very hard to say what is next. But I find that I now, more than before, um, I have been interested in, in uh, recording and producing other artists. I've uh, I made maybe 100, 150 albums of myself, <laughs> you know, uh, which has my name on the front cover or on the back. And I've become more interested now to, um, to work with other people, you know, so that there are, that's their name on the front or and that's that, their face or whatever. And, and uh, I find this equally uh, fulfilling as, as making my own records. You know, I, I, it's, it's the process which is interesting. It's that, you know, it's that uh, finding this idea and nurturing that and, and you know, going, going into it and you know, seeing what happens and, and letting chance and different parameters kind of uh, Effect uh, what goes on, and then see where you end up at the end. It's that that journey which is interesting. And then uh, I now find it more interesting to be working with other other people. Actually, um, I think I think uh, what. Uh, I think a current uh, thread in what I do um, is is kind of a search for energy. I like music which is high energy in, in some, just on some level. Uh, I like intensity in music uh, and I like to be able to uh, express energy. You know, I want when people are listening to my concert or, or uh, my records, I wanted to you know, they get some kind of energy from it. You know, if I can make something intense, I think that's that's great. And I think uh, a few times uh, people misconceive my this search for energy in music as as uh, aggression, but it's not. Uh, for me, that's a separate thing. I don't think I make angry or aggressive music. I make intense music, which has uh, you know strong energy that that is what I'm concerned with that was what I, I when I started it was about you know just taking sounds and processing them and squeezing them until they you know you get new colors and and you, and you know it became an energy you know you start with something which is kind of boring and and mundane which electronic instruments are in in the sense but you start you know start mashing things together and something 
something uh, starts to, uh, st to appear, starts to get these, these, uh, these colors. And, uh, and if, you <laughs> if you think of it as painting, then I, I like really broad strokes. You know, I I'm more, you know, kind of action painter and, and something like that. I like art, which is which kind of grabs you. And, and I like music, which is really just right up there in your face. Um, so when I when I pick collaborators, it's not necessarily people who have the same instrumentation as me. I, I like to play with people or work with people who have more the same approach and then uh, than the instrumentation. Um, so that's why I work with you know people like like Paul, you know, who's a drummer. He comes from jazz and and I come from more rock and punk and metal and but we just share this common. Um, this common uh, interest in you know in high energy. I think that's that's kind of a clue. And if you search for that, you start searching. There's so many ways to go. There's so many things uh, you can explore and and uh, and, uh, and enjoy. I think uh, uh, I think I make kind of a happy music in my mind. I think it's a kind of a celebratory uh, music. Um, I, I think my ideas are very much the same. I've said this before. I think my ideas are very much the same now as when I started making music uh, some 25 years ago. I don't think I've um, developed much uh, in that sense, you know, in, in terms of ideas. But I think I've become more sophisticated, uh, technically. I think I've become more um, experienced, of course, because I've done a lot. Um, and I think I explored many of those uh, ideas. But I think basically the ideas, the things which motivated me when I was, uh, when I was 15 are the same now that I'm 40. You know, I'm still, you know, I, I talked about this you know, idea of, of sonic energy, just, just kind of exploring pure sound and, and making some kind of musical uh, sense of, of these sounds, you know, putting them in a system, it's, that's still what fascinates me. And that's, when I listen to my old stuff as a, as a, in my early teenage years, it's really similar to what I'm, I'm doing now. I don't think there's been like a, a huge development, you know. As I say, maybe I'm more sophisticated, but maybe being sophisticated isn't such a great thing, you know. Maybe uh, once you become too sophisticated, you know, you could lose something. And um, I, I know when when I'm listening to other people's work, you know, I'm I'm very interested in the raw ideas, something being polished and slick and and you know, um, how do you say, it's like. Um, fulfilling like a, a technical, uh, some kind of technical idea uh, or, or standard, it doesn't really matter. So, um, you know, and I, I said that I, I record other artists and often what I do is just kind of strip it down and, and do very, very basic ways. You know, you just set up a situation and just record that and not think about oh you need this and this and this equipment you know i, I made albums on just cassette tapes and you know, just very cheap microphones and, and stuff and, and i found that um, getting uh, getting the right situation is more important than having it you know be perfect um, so yes, I, I think <laughs> that I haven't pro progressed much and I doubt that, you know, if I keep going in 10, 20 years, I think I will be probably saying the same things, you know, and, and there was this, uh, I'm terrible at quotes because I can't remember who said it, but somebody said that, that any artist has just like three or four basic uh, ideas and they spend their, um, their uh, career or, you know, their, their artistic life just kind of um, exploring and, and following and, and uh, examining and, and uh, just you know dancing around those ideas um, very few artists has you know many many ideas it's and I think that may be true you know 
maybe we just are kind of animals just kind of stuck in our own ways and and that that's that's maybe okay you know so I'll, maybe i'll just spend you know however many years i have just you know making that sound you know and and see how much sound i can do in you know 25 40 50 60 years i think maybe that's that's my uh, purpose in this in this um, in this in this anthill i don't know Maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe one day I'll think of something brilliant and, and I go, Eureka, I know, and I'll, I can say that I progressed, but uh, maybe not, we'll see. Inspiration. I'm inspired by many, many things. It's hard to say that that music inspired me or that piece of literature or that film or whatever um, artwork inspired me. I'm, I'm really interested in many things and, uh, and uh, I think you would be surprised of, of when you hear my music of what kind of things that that inspired you know specific pieces you know this I don't think anybody can can make any connections um, and I'm just one of those people who just constantly searching for new things you know I'm watching movies I go to exhibitions I'm collecting records and I'm just like I get up early morning and I just go on the internet and see oh there's a new record come out and this guy's done this and I go on eBay and search for albums, and I collect records. I have too many of them, but <laughs> but I but I I, I think that um, there's this. Who was it? Uh, Joe Strummer of the Clash said, uh, "No input, no output." So uh, I live by this, and I try to have as much input as possible. And there's uh, always something interesting there's always something to inspire you and and uh, you know that will trigger um, you know creative processes but I don't necessarily listen to noise music to to uh, make my own noise music you know I could be um, obsessed about you know some visual collage artists or you know some South American movie or you know whatever you know it's just whatever triggers something and that, that's that's what I enjoy. <laughs> 